Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Riyadh Riyad Arts and Entertainment. I'm your host, Karen Page, and with me is Daquan Devereaux, who was nominated for Best Actor in the play The Last Minstrel Show in the 12th Annual Strawberry One Act Festival. Welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you also directed the play. Uh, yes, yes, I directed the play as well. Um, Isaac Shapiro actually wrote the play and got in contact with him. Um, and we threw it together, we put it together well. Okay. Yes, you did. I saw it. It was really, really moving and thought-provoking. Thank you. Um, is this the first time you've been in a play competition? Um, no, I actually was in the Strawberry Act Festival um, in 2003, uh, the winter one in January. Then um, Damien Bailey uh, did a play called Precious. Okay. Um, I actually played a deacon in that. That was the first time I became familiar with the, uh, you know, the Rehan Theater and uh, the Strawberry Act Festival. And um, three years, three years, four years later, here I am again. <laughs> so you're an actor, you're a director. Either one you do more or less of? Or? Um, high school, you know, I started out acting. Mm -hmm. And in order for me to, I didn't really know how to go about getting an agent back in high school and all that. So what I did was I started writing my own pieces. And from that point on, um, I transferred from one high school to the other high school. And it was a fellow there named C.C. Rogers who, you know, was an old school singer. Um, he was actually teaching a music class, so me being persistent, I like that. I kept going and kept going back up there. And finally, I just laid my script on his desk, and, um, you know, he, he was ready to rock with it. So he just told me, he gave me a list of songs, and he said, let's do it like that, and uh, write a script around these songs, and it was a gospel play. Oh, um, awesome. Yeah, so I did two with him, and he actually said, you know what, I, I want you to just go ahead since you wrote it, this is your baby director. And I said, okay, I can do it. You know? <laughs> I mean, I never really had any. Why you know, not? <laughs> I had the vision all in my head, and you know, from then on, it's it just the magic, I guess. God. <laughs> yeah. So, a Best Actor nomination. And um, you, you're a recording artist as well? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, a rap artist, um, producer. I um, work with hip hop and RB artists as well. I'm actually an artist myself, separate from the acting. Um, but yeah, I do it all. I just I love entertainment. I might have done a shorter interview by asking you what you did not do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got it all, right? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I gotta say, you know, I do feel blessed. Um, I do think God has blessed me in you know, many ways with many talents. And all I'm trying to do is use a lot of what I have and put it out there. You know, hopefully, I, you know, something will work out. So, how did you feel um, acting in this particular play? Um, it's crazy. It's this particular piece, I wasn't really supposed to be acting in. Like, right? Yeah, I was. You know, I was casted as the uh, director. Uh -huh. And um, during casting, during casting auditions, the day we had, we was actually behind time, and everybody who came, it just wasn't enough. And you know, I, I spoke to Isaac and said, "Hey, look, I act too. You know." Let me take a shot at that lead role because I, I, you know, I haven't seen anybody okay. that I'm confident in. And I was scared, you know. I was scared, <laughs> I was scared because I, I hadn't done it in so long. Like, right. I haven't directed and act, you know, in so long. But I'm, I'm just always up for a challenge. And I know if I have a, a group of people who, you know, believe in me and listen well and you know can take direction, then we can get anything done. Well, you certainly rose to the challenge. Your best actor nomination, that's that's a great that's honor. There was a lot of good acting going on. And so, um, Daquan, do you have anything coming up that we should be looking out for? Um, right now I'm just working on um, the music. Right now I'm working on my album. Um, should be done at, actually in the March. Um, March 9th, 10th, I'm actually throwing a uh, promotion party at the 4040 Club, you know, for it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, from all the success at the Rio Theater right now, um, I'm actually kind of psyched up. I've been writing a piece right now, um, dealing and associating with the cast members that I work with because we, you know, everybody did such a great job. How was working with that cast? That was a terrific cast. I, I mean, I couldn't be like, I, I couldn't ask for a better cast, I don't think. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it, it was, we were very limited that day with the uh, casting auditions. But the few people that I did, you know, that I did pick, like, they, they're just incredible. Um, you have um, James James Shipley, mm -hmm. who you know played alongside of me. Right, um, right. He's my best friend. Um, just a 
amazing. When he came into the audition, like, he auditioned for the lowest part, you know, like, it was like two speaking lines. I'm like, look at this guy, like, you can act, you know? <laughs> like, I did just, I had him audition for both parts, the lead character and, you know, the part that he had. Um, we had Jelena Rose, who actually was one of the chorus girls originally, but as the play progressed, uh, a, a, a rewriting came in, and, you know, she actually became Cleopatra Jackson, okay. which was, you know, my mother. Right, and, right. and uh, one more person, um, um, Eric, Eric Cuts, who played Corporate Guy, mm -hmm. and uh, actually Marcus Keith, who played um, Bo James. This is all amazing. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the play awesome. was, was very diverse. I had a diverse, you know, cast, and I knew what I was working with, I knew what I wanted. So I just, I just added it to it. And so did you have the writer there on hand as you were rehearsing? And um, He was there sometimes. Isaac was there sometimes, off and on. Um, you know, he's still in school, so he's in college, so he mm -hmm. goes to college in Baltimore, so he's making sure oh, stuff back, see, and forth, see. back and forth, and talking, communicating over the phone. And Isaac was very nervous. <laughs> 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 I called him all the time. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to see if you got it right. I'm like, Isaac, calm down. You know, just have a little faith. Trust me, it's well, going to work I'm sure out. he's very proud and knows now. Oh, yeah, the first you night. You definitely wrote <laughs> something right with the Best Director nomination. Exactly, exactly. Isaac is like ecstatic. I mean, this is like his first, you know, play, this piece, and the topic that he chose to write about is just, you know, it's a, it's a dangerous topic to just go into a competition mm -hmm. with. And um, we got the message across very well. I very I don't edgy. think I can do it very, any better than well, um, you got the competition coming up Friday. Yes. All my best to you for that. Thank Thanks again for being here. Congratulations again on your nomination. All right, thank you. And now everybody's going to get to watch you play. Ladies and gentlemen, The Last Menstrual Show. <laughs>